You're pissing me off so much, I want to punch you in the face. Yikes. <laughs> Ever since James Gunn took over DC and Zack Snyder stepped down and went on to Netflix to create hopefully a successful Snyderverse universe over there, the Snyder cultists have gone more and more deranged, more and more psychotic over the coming weeks, months, and possibly even years. These people are insane, and it makes the normal Zack Snyder fans, like myself, not really want to root for the Snyderverse to come back, because it's not coming back, it's over. But for some strange, illogical reason, these Snyder cultists, they just can't let go. And they attack normal DC fans whenever you give a less so positive review towards anything Zack Snyder. As for example, I watched the Rebel Moon trailer. I wasn't that impressed. And of course, the Snyder cultists got up all up in their panties and started crying like little bitches. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do the exact same thing because I criticize. That's what I do. When I praise something, I praise it. But when I criticize something, it's not out of the blue. I give legitimate criticisms to why I don't like this. And again, the Snyder cultists, they can't process this. They cannot comprehend this because they need to praise everything Zack Snyder. If Zack Snyder went over to their house and fucked their mom, they would watch and probably jerk off. That's how sick and twisted these people are. And I would probably join in and fucking their moms because most of these people are still fucking 45 years old, living in their fucking mom's basement, crying and jerking off because the Snyderverse is dead and done with. So it is what it is. And listen, I love Zack Snyder. I love most of his work. And I loved, for the most part, everything that he did with DC. But there comes a time when you have to let shit go, like Elsa from Frozen. Let it go, let it go, let it go. It's not happening anymore. Sorry to say this. And for some reason, these people make videos on YouTube, and I don't know why they're making YouTube videos, because most of them can't even fucking speak. They're like, do, 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 do. Here's why I hate James Gunn. Do, 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 do. Zack Snyder good. Do, 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 do. James Gunn bad. Do, 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 do. James gonna fuck my sister. Da, 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 da. The reason why the flash bomb is because of James Gunn. Da, 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 da. Here's why Zack Snyder is the best thing for DC going forward, even though all these DC movies are flopping. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, oh my god. And when you look at the comment sections, these you like it's literally a cult. It's the Jared Leto cult. And I'm like, you people are so weird and it's so strange. Listen. And I'm not a fucking James Gunn dick sucker like most of these Zack Snyder fans are dick suckers. I criticize James Gunn when James Gunn does stupid shit. And guess what? I will criticize his DCU if there are things in his DCU that I do not like. I'm not going to praise James Gunn 24-7 just because he's in charge of a property that I love. I love DC and I want the best for DC. And if James Gunn does right by dc guess what i'm gonna praise him I'm like you know what james gunn you're doing a hell of a job keep doing it but if james gunn starts fucking with dc and starts giving me more peacemaker than man of steels then yeah i'm gonna be a little bit perturbed with his vision for dc i'm gonna be like mm, you know what i don't think james gunn is the right fit for it so when superman legacy comes out i expect a fantastic Superman film and anything less than that I'm gonna be upset because DC in my in my personal opinion is the a brand and should shell out a plus material and when you give me B plus material that's when I have a problem and unfortunately for a lot of people Zack Snyder was shelling out B plus films not a plus films and that's why we have a reboot. That's why we are rebooting this entire fucking universe because the general audience rejected 
what Zack Snyder did. You want to know why all these DC films are bombing? Because of the reception of Man of Steel, of BVS, of Suicide Squad, of Wonder Woman 84, of The Suicide Squad, of The Flash. All this shit is a domino effect that started from the top and now we're here at the bottom. <laughs> and I don't want DC to be at the bottom. I want DC to be at the top. And you have these losers constantly hashtagging fire James Gunn. James Gunn sucks. Like, the, like get a fucking life. Get a girlfriend. Go outside. Do something productive with your life instead of doing the instead of doing these stupid ass hashtags that don't mean a goddamn thing. You want to know why so many people left the Restored Universe movement because these Snyder cultists took over, bombed it, destroyed it, and now everyone left. And now everyone that was kind of eh on James Gunn, now they're fully on board with James Gunn because these people ruined it for the rest of us. Snyderverse is dead. Get over it. Stop hashtagging. Get a life. And stop making these dumbass YouTube videos that give everyone fucking brain aneurysms, including myself. Love you all. Truth out. Boy, that's no shit. <laughs>